Now hello once again. We've got another chance of going through a science question and this question uh, was tested in the KCP for the year 2019 and it, this question now will give us a chance of going through some of the work that was done in a previous class. Now this question, let us first of all read it, the soil that cracks easily when dry has Okay, you can see these characteristics that we have here. The idea here is not to come here and pick the answer is A, B, C, or whatever. The idea here is to revise this, the whole of this question so that in case this question happened to repeat itself in a different uh, version, we shall be able or we shall be in a position to, uh, to be able to uh, pick the answer we shall be able to pick the answer. Well, this question is on types of soils. As I have said, this work was covered in class 5. It is just a subtopic because the topic on soil is wider. So, we shall not go through all the other parts. We shall only concentrate on the types of soils. Now, soils can be classified. They can be classified and the classification here is determined by the size of the soil particles. We all know what is soil because that is what we normally step on. Now, soil is made up of particles. If you hold or you feel soil in between your fingers, you'll find that some soils have got large particles, other soils have got small particles, and others even have medium-sized particles. And due to the different sizes of the soil particles, now we shall be able to classify soil into three main types. And these three types are, type number one is clay soil. We shall analyze the characteristics of clay soil. Type number two is sandy soil. And number three is loam soil. In other words, we've got clay soils, sandy soils, and loam soils. These are the three different types of soils. Now, if we may begin with the clay soil, its characteristics are, number one, it have very fine particles and therefore have very smooth texture. Fine particles and therefore very smooth texture. The word texture here means the way you would feel the, the, the soil in between your fingers. You'll find that the particles are very, very, very small. Now, due to these small or fine particles, then clay soil have very small air spaces between the particles. That is, between one particle and the other particle, the space in between there is very, very, very small. Now, clay soil have poor drainage and therefore have a tendency of water logging. What does this statement here tell us? Now, due to the very fine particles, which makes it have it have uh, small air spaces. You'll find that if you pour water or after the rains, clay soil have a tendency of retaining that water on it, such that it doesn't want, or rather the, the water doesn't go down, or rather doesn't seep down. That uh, tendency is what we refer to as water logging. That is holding too much water. Holding too much water. Well, another characteristic is that it has the highest capillarity. What does this mean? Capillarity here means the, uh, the, uh, the ability of the soil or the ability of water to raise up the soil to the ground level. Remember, under the ground we've got water. Clay soil will allow water to raise up very, very, very fast. Now, clay soil is sticky when wet and it's hard and easy to crack. In other words, if you mix clay soil with water and then you fill it in between your hands, it is, it is very sticky. And after it dries, clay soil is very hard. 
If you try to crush it, normally what it does is that it cracks. Or even after, uh, the, after the rain, uh, once the sun shine, once, once there is sunshine or the, uh, it is exposed to heat, that soil will normally form cracks. Now it also forms wrong bonds, hence it is the best for modeling. What does this mean? That if you mix clay with water and then you roll it in between your hands, it will form bonds. Actually you find that this soil is the best that can be used for modeling. It is the best that can be used for modeling. And point number seven is that it is hard to plow or dig and therefore it is not good for agriculture. Due to some of these um, characteristics of uh, being water rocked, poor air spaces, you'll find that this soil it may not be actually good for digging because it, it becomes very hard and once you try to, to dig, it becomes very, very difficult. Well, let us look at the second type of soil, that is sandy soil. Sandy soil, um, its characteristics are number one, it has the largest particles, hence love texture. Now, if you remember what we have just said about clay soil, very, very small particles, but this one has the largest particles. And if you try to fill them in between your fingers, you'll find that due to these very big particles, you'll find that the texture is love. Remember, texture is the way you feel something, either rough or smooth. This one becomes rough. It have large air spaces between the particles. Look at point number one, large particles. Due to large particles, from one particle to the other particle, in between there, there is a space. That is what we refer to as the air space. And therefore, the air spaces are large due to the fact that it has got large particles. Now, this soil drains water very fast. Due to uh, large particles, large air spaces, water will be able to seep down very, very fast. After the rains, this soil has a tendency of getting dry very fast because a lot of water will seep down. It has the poorest capillarity. I have just said that capillarity is the tendency of water lazing from bottom up. Now, due to these large particles, this, this soil has got a very poor capillarity. In other words, water cannot be able to raise up very fast like we have seen in the case of clay soil. Sandy soil can be plowed easily, although very infertile and hence not good for agriculture. You can plow sandy soil very easily because this soil is very, very loose, very, very loose. And it is actually infertile. You cannot do, uh, you cannot grow crops on it. Actually, clay soil uh, cannot form ribbons, hence not good for modeling. If you mix uh, uh, sandy soil with um, with water and then you try to form uh, ribbons by rolling in between your hands, it will not form those ribbons as we have found in the case of clay soil. Now, in most cases, sandy soil is used for construction. It is used for construction. Actually, it is the one which is mixed with, uh, with the cement when uh, constructing or when joining uh, stones. Now, loam soil, loam soil. Now, loam soil, its characteristics are, number one, this is a mixture of sand and clay soil. This means that the particles or this type of soil is in between sand and clay soil. You find that um, the particles are not very large, they are not very small, it is in there between. Now, this soil is well drained. This means that it does not lose water very fast and it does not retain a lot of water. This soil is actually good for agriculture due to high humus content. Now, humus, these are the dead decaying matters. 
that may be on top of the soil. E.g. are dead leaves, dead animals, etc. Due to this, this soil has a lot of humus content. Remember, humus is so good for agriculture. It has moderate air spaces and particles. The word moderate here means just there in between. It is just there in between. The spaces are not very small, they are not very large. Particles are not very small, nor are they very large. That is why we are, it has these characteristics of having moderate air spaces. Now, loam soil is well isolated, meaning that the circulation of air in loam soil is so good, such that even when you plant or you sow a seed, that seed will germinate very well because remember, for a seed to germinate, it requires air. Now, this soil has the highest content of microorganisms. It has um, highest content of microorganisms due to the fact that it is well isolated it can be able to hold small animals like worms and, and others in it. So, it has the highest content of microorganisms. Remember, as I have said, loam soil is found on top. Loam soil is found on top. It is the top layer of the ground. Now, going back to the question, after going through the different types of soils and their characteristics, now we want to select the answer that could have been appropriate. We are told that the soil that cracks easily when dry has a love texture, small particles, large air spaces, low capillarity. Now, from these characteristics, I want us to go back to this type of soil here, the clay soil. We analyze it once again and check whether we shall be able to get an answer. Because if you look at some of these, um, these uh, choices that have been given here, like love texture, small particles, large air spaces, or even a raw capillarity, if you compare loam and sandy soil, you will find that about cracking, it is not easy. Let's go back to uh, clay soil. Now, if you look at some of these uh, uh, characteristics, we've got this answer here of, or rather the answers that we have, love texture, well, as clay soil, we are told that it has got smooth texture. Small particles, that, that, that characteristic is found here. Fine particles or small particles. Now, if you look at large spaces, this characteristic here was found in sandy soil. Low capillarity, low capillarity, we already, this characteristics here was again found in sandy soil. Remember capillarity we have said that it is the tendency of the soil to lace the water up. So you will find that among these four answers here the one that can fit uh, this soil that cracks, one thing this soil is clay soil and clay soil have fine particles fine particles or small particles and therefore this choice here could have made that question uh, okay if somebody could have selected that answer. Well, that question 
have given us an opportunity to go through types of soils. Now next time we might uh, we might be looking at some of these words that we have used like capillarity and drainage. Remember for you to determine the capillarity and drainage of soil we need to do an experiment and therefore God willing we shall have a chance and look at that experiment that can help us to determine the drainage and the capillarity of soil. Goodbye.